Okay, guys, this is still chapter one, lesson 10, the key to percents and decimals. And in this case, we are going to be converting percents into decimals. A lot of times the reason for doing this is when you're computing mathematical formulas or need to multiply by, um, I don't know, anything really that, that involves percents, you've got to convert it into a decimal. Um, the reason for it is because calculators or when you do the math is difficult to deal with any type of a decimal point later on in the formula so it's easier to just do it right off the bat. So in this case there's two ways to do it, two ways to think about it. Um, first one would be to divide by 100. Every time you get a percent just divide it by 100 and you get a decimal. So in our example we have 8 percent here Okay, if you take 8 divided by 100, in this case you got to put the decimal, 0, 0, decimal goes on top, 8 goes into 800 8 times, but it goes above this 0 here, so you would get the point zero 0.08. Also take your calculator, do the same thing. Eight divide 100 point zero 0.08 another way to think about it is right off the bat if you have 8% change the 8 I'm sorry change the percent into a decimal point and you move it to the left two spots 1 2 so in this little loop here you need a 0 and a decimal Let's move there okay two ways to do it so I like this way it's quicker for me. I don't need to take out the calculator each time. If I could just remember to change the percent into a decimal point and move it to the left twice. So it says change these percents to a decimal. So if I have 6%, so I would have 6, change the percent into a decimal, move it to the left twice, 1, 2, put the 0 in, so I am at 0 .06. And when you give me the answer, guys, I want to see it like this. Okay, I don't want to see all these loops, so I'm not sure like what you, where you actually put the decimal point. 32%, uh, so we're at 32%, so 32, decimal moves there, move it to the left twice, 1, 2. In this case, I don't need to add a 0 anywhere, because I'm right here, so I'm at 0 0.32. When we start getting to examples that are in the hundreds, which I believe would be on the next page of our assignment. So let's go ahead and move that over. And let's look for one that's greater than 100 here. Here we go, number 25, 453%. So if I have 453, I move, change the percent to a decimal, move that to the left twice, so I'm at 4.53. So that is my answer there. Okay. Sometimes they'll have um, a decimal that, or a percent that already looks like it was converted to a decimal, like number 16. Well, is this the same game, guys? 0 0.08. Change that percent. We don't need to change it because we already have the decimal, so we're going to move it to the left twice. So we need two more zeros. So we're at point zero 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 eight. And uh, let's take a look at another one. Let's go ahead and take a look at twenty three. So twenty three, we're at seven point zero zero one percent. I already have a decimal, so I don't need to change that into a decimal right now. So if I had seven point zero zero one, move it to the left twice need one zero so I'm at point zero seven zero zero one so those are some good examples of how these can get tricky again if you don't like the way of changing the percent sign into a decimal point or if you realize it already has a decimal to leave it you could just take this number and divide it by a hundred so seven point zero zero one divided by a hundred let's go ahead and do that seven point zero zero one divide by 100 
and you get your answer. Okay, so that is renaming percents as decimals.